Hello everyone, so today we will start our class on number series. This will be lecture number 7. Again, we will discuss questions from previous year. So, you all know what is number series. Number series is a sequential arrangement of numbers following a certain defined pattern, as you all know. So, let's start. Okay, before starting the lecture, let us see the winner of the lecture number 6 giveaway that we have organized and the, we have selected two number of uh, people. So, and the first and second winner is based on the time they have replied. The first replier was first winner and both of them have replied all the five questions correctly. Okay, so please claim your replies before 10, 11, 2023. Thank you. Let's see what are the questions that were given in lecture 6. That were very simple, by the way. Let us see the answer of those questions. These are the five questions that was given to answer. So question number 6 to 10 and these are very simple. You can see what you have to do is that you have to find the word that cannot be formed using this particular word or the words that are given in this 7, 8 and 9 and 10. So there are four options they have given. So you can easily see option number B cannot be formed using this word because here we have i and we we don't have i in this word definitely so option number b will be your correct answer so that was what you have to do and in question number seven you can see that uh, d option d will be your correct answer because nation here you can see n is one here we have second n so two n we have but here you can see only we have one n so uh, a nation cannot be formed because we need one more n so option number d will be your correct answer so here again we have question number 8 and you can see option number D again cannot be found because here we have C and here in this word you can see there are no alphabet like C. So option number D will be a correct answer because this cannot be found using this word. Again we have question number 9 and here again option number C will be your correct answer because here again you can see this C. Of Alphabet C is not present in this word. You can see here. So option number C will be your correct answer. Uh, you can see the, it was most simple. Again, we have question number ten. Again, option number B will be correct here in option question number ten because you can see here we have one T. Again, we have the second T. So we have two T. But in this whole word, if you are going to see, you have only one T. So this. Option number B cannot be found using this word. Okay, so option number B will be your correct answer. So you can see the question is very simple. Just you have to answer correctly, and the fastest is possible. So once again, thanks to all those who have participated in the giveaway of lecture number six, and definitely we have to select only two people. All the people, almost all those who have participated, has replied the answer correctly. But since we have to select on the first replier, so the first replier have we have selected, and so so let's start the lecture. And so this will be question number one, and you can see the series. Definitely, you all know what you have to do here. Number series. In each of the following questions, a number of series is given with one of the terms missing. Okay, so you can see this term is missing. Choose the correct alternative that will continue with the same pattern. This pattern. Okay. And replace the question mark in the given series. You have to choose from these four options available. So which will be here in place of the question mark so that this pattern can be continued. So, so first let us see what is the correct answer uh, in the place of question mark. After that we will discuss the solution. So here you can see uh, yes option number D that is 58 is the correct answer here. 58. So uh, how we have got this 58 let us see. What actually they have done is that if you consider the difference of 23 and 28 you can see the difference will be of 5 right means if you add plus 5 to this 23 you will get 28 and if you see the difference of 28 and 34 you can see that there is a 6 almost 6 difference so if you add plus 6 to this 28 you will get 34 again if you see the difference between 34 and 41 is there a difference of 7 risk so if you add plus 7 to this 34 you will get 41 and again here 41 and 49 you can see the difference is of plus 8 right so that means plus 8 will be added to this then you will get 49 you can see if you observe this if you write it here clearly you, we have got first the difference of 5 then we have got the difference of 6 here you can see then we have got the difference of 7 and we have got the difference of it so if you continue this then you there will be there should be a difference of nine definitely there should be difference of nine so if you add this nine to this 49 
definitely if you add then it there will be 58 right so we have got this in this way so this was the logic that they have applied so again this is question number two again you have to do what you have to do you have to find the uh, option that will be here in this place of this question mark again you can see and these are the 5 11 17 25 33 43 and what will be here so let us see what will be the correct answer correct answer will be option number d that is 53 let us see how we have got this 53 so if you observe this 5 and 11 and if you try to find the difference there will be a difference of 6 again the difference between 11 and 17 is 6 again the difference between 17 and 25 is 8 and the difference between 25 and 33 is also 8 and the difference between 33 and 43 is 10 so if you observe here till now you can see we have got the difference of 6 and 6 8 and 8 again 10 so you can see this pattern is getting repeated and is getting increased by 2 so 6 and 6 8 and 8 so here we have 10 again we will, will have 10 so definitely if we got this then we should also get the answer because all this difference is getting added to this previous number to get this right so this 10 will be added to this 43 and you will get 10 plus uh, 43 is 53 right and you can see option number d is that okay so we have question number three and again let us see what will be the in this place of this question mark so that this pattern can be continued let us see the answer first so here we have got uh, the option number A that is 29 will be here. Let us see how we will get 29. So the best approach for solving this type of question, let us find the difference and it will give you idea what should be done or added or subtracted. So if you see the difference between 11 and uh, 13, you will get a difference of 2. And if you see the difference of 13 and 17, there will be a difference of 4. Again, 17 and 19, there will be a difference of 2, and 19 and 23, there will be a difference of 4. Again, 23 and 25, there will be a difference of 2. So, if you observe this, you can get in mind can easily predict that there is a pattern that is 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, then technically here it will be going to be 4. And so, what we are doing, you have to add that definitely you have to create the, the, this difference here that is 25 and the number itself that means you have to add 4 to this 25 and by adding this 25 plus 4 you will get 29 you know, know, know that so this is 29 and you can see option number A is 29 so here we have question number 4 and let us see what will be here so it will be option number D that is 50 let us see how we will get 50 here so if you see uh, the difference between 2 and 5 you will see the difference is of 3 right and similar way the difference between 5 and 10 is of 5 and similar way the difference between 10 and 17 is 7 and the difference between uh, 17 and 26 is of 9 and that is the difference uh, also the difference between 26 and 37 is 11 so that means if you add uh, 3 to 2 you will get 5 if you add 5 to 5 you will get 10 if you get 8 7 to 10 you will get 17 similar way that means you can observe the pattern 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 2 is 7 plus 2 is 9 plus 2 to 9 is 11 that means if you again do plus 2 to 11 you will get 13 and this 13 should be added here with 37 right 37 plus 13 so you will get uh, 10 4 5 so you will get 50 right and that is option number d will be the correct answer so here we have question number 5 and let us see what will be in this place of this question mark so it will be 76 option number a let us see how we will get option number a 76 so even we will find a difference between 4 and 7 that is the difference is here we have 3 the difference between 7 and 11 is again 4 again if you observe the difference between 11 and 18 you will get the difference of 7 and if you observe the difference of 18 and 29 you will get a difference of uh, something like uh, 11 
and again the difference between 29 and 47 will be 18 right and so uh, if you observe this pattern first to find this we have to find the difference that will be for between 47 and this unknown number so uh, if you observe this pattern you, you let us write it here 3 we have got 3 then we have got 4 we have got 7 we have got 11 again we have got 18 what will be here then you will get the answer this so if you observe this 3 plus 4 you will get again if you add 3 plus 4 you will get 7 okay that means the previous two numbers will be added to get the third next number so here we have 11 right we have got 11 so if you add this 4 and 7 you will get 11 right again here we have 18 so if you add this 7 and 11 you will get this 18 right oh, you are getting what I am saying so that means in this place of question mark what you have to do you have to add 11 plus 18 that is 9 29 so uh, that means that uh, in this question mark in place of this question mark this question mark is not this remember that this in here it will be 29 means uh, in according to this pattern 3 4 7 11 and 18 then here you will have 29 that means the difference of 29 between 47 and this unknown number that means you have to add 29 to this 47 and you will get your answer right so uh, you know here it will be 6 and 76 so you can see that each option number a contains 76 so option number a will be correct here we are going to get 76 so you will put 76 here you can cross check it by applying to this 123 so according to 123 what <coughs> the difference you should get is that if you get the difference 18 and uh, 18 plus 29 you should get the third number and right third number should be 47 right right okay so uh, here it will be 47 and if you add this 47 to this uh, 76 47 to this 76 3 and here it will be 12 123 here you can see we have got so we can cross check it so this pattern is working the coding is done like that the logic applies is like that okay so we have question number six and let us see three nine six thirty six and thirty what will be here so among these four options let us see which answer will be the correct one so 270 will be your answer in this place of question mark option a let us see how we have got so if you observe these uh, numbers and try to find the difference so the difference is unsymmetrical you can see that so that means there should be some multiplication division or something mix so let us see try to find how we, we, you will get 9 from this 3 so to get 9 what you will do definitely 3 into 3 is 9 you know that so let us write it here clearly 3 into 3 is 9 next number is 6 how will get this 6 from this 9 you definitely you know 9 minus 3 you will give you 6 we have 6 now how you will get this 36 from 6 you again know 6 into 6 is 36 so what we are doing here actually is trying to form some rules some pattern so uh, by previous numbers relating to the previous number again we have 30 how you will get here 30 definitely we have 36 and if you subtract 6 from this 36 you will get 30 so if you can observe this pattern first this you have mul done multiplication secondly you have done subtraction again you have done multiplication and here you have done uh, subtraction so that means next pattern that should come to get the answer is uh, definitely multiplication but you can see the number that has been multiplied the same number we have subtracted in the next even this is 3 into 3 and this 3 is subtracted here you can see 9 minus 3 is 6 again 6 into 6 and the six, same 6 is subtracted uh, and you can see here 36 minus 6 is 30 that means uh, first you have to find the next number so 3 after repeating 2 times 3 we have 6 that means uh, 3 is 6 means 3 plus 3 is done to this 3 we have got 6 right so 
3 plus 3 6 again what will it will go with the table of 3 3 plus 3 6 again plus 3 will give you 9 okay right so we have the 9 and 9 so we have the number 9 and that same number is multiplied with this you can the you can you have to don't be confused that that this number are not square this number are multiplied with the, these numbers previous number here you can see the 6 is this okay and we have multiplied with the 6 in the increasing order of plus 3 so here uh, the number we have got that you need to multiply with is 3 uh, sorry 9 this 9 but with whom we have multiplied this with the previous number to get the answer you can see here so we will multiply this with this 30 so here 30 into 9 will give you 270 right because we are multiplying with the uh, previous number we are not doing a square okay or you can cross check it 9 into 9 definitely will be uh, 81 right and you can see no 81 is here so there is no something like a square so what you have to do is 30 into 9 and you will get 270 in, 270 and you can say option number a content 270 right so here we have question number seven and let us see what will be the answer in this place of question mark so here we have 97 90 76 and 55 it seems to be easy so let us see the answer first here it will be 27 in the place of question mark so uh, by observing the numbers you can see there is a symmetrical a meaningful difference being created here so 97 first and here we have 90 so the difference you can see is of 7 if you subtract 7 you will get 90 right so if you subtract here again the difference can be seen here there is a difference of minus 14 and minus 14 from 90 will give you 96 and here you can see the difference of uh, 21 so minus 21 from 76 will give you 55 so if you observe this 7 we have got 7 the difference of 7 then we have difference of 14 and there is a difference of 21 you can say the table of 7 or you can say you are adding 7 same thing so 7 to uh, 7 14 21 and here it will be plus 7 here again it will be 28 definitely it will be 28 so so what is you can see and the number has been getting subtracted from the previous number it is decreasing so again you have to subtract this 28 from this 55 so if you subtract this 28 from 55 definitely you know here you have 15 and here it will be 7 and so 4 and 2 is 27 so you will get here 27 in the place of this question mark you, you will get 27 and here you can see option number b contain 27 it's was simple right so here we have question number 8 and here you can see there is 0.5 1.5 5 18 and 76 what will be here in this place of question mark so you have four option let us see which one will be the correct option so we have got option number b that is 385 has the correct answer let us see how you will get this so here you have 0.5 and what you can do with this 0.5 if you multiply 0.5 into 1 definitely you will get 0.5 again this same 0.5 we add the same number 1 you will get 1.5 right here we have 1.5 now to get 5 what you can again do is that what you can do with this 1.5 if you multiply this 1.5 because we have used this one one next two will proceed to the two so let us multiply this 1.5 with two you will get three and this three will place here right similar to this we have placed this number here so the result is placed here and we have added the same number one to here so we will add the same number two with this three and you will get five you can see here so to get 18 what you can do you can do this repeat the similar concept and if it's work it is it will work for your answer also you can cross check that way so five five we have used one then we have two two times and then you will proceed to the three so five into three is 15 
and you if you place this result here and add the same number here 3 with 15 you will get 18 and you can see here you have 18 okay. to get 76 what you can do the same things here 18 into we have used this for three so now we will proceed with the four so 18 into 4 will give you 76 right 18 into 4 no not 76 it will get 72 and if you place this 72 here and add the same number 4 you will get 76 which is here right now what you can do you will, you will apply this we have cross check it this concept is working so you can place for your to get the answer so you have used 76 now what you will do we have you came up to the 4 you will use the 5 76 into 5 76 into 5 will be uh, something like 380 right and so 380 the result end and I will add the same number 5 here so it will be 385 385 which is here option number B so in this way we have got option number B so here we have question number 9 and let us see what will be the answer here we have 198 202 221 227 so in the place of question mark it will be 252 option number B let us see how we have got this so if you observe the difference what we will write the difference so that we can create some meaning so 198 202 you there will be a difference of 4 here if you see the difference it can be a difference of something like uh, 9 right so there is a difference of 9 again the difference of 2 double 1 and 227 here you will get a difference of 16 so if you observe this number 4 9 and 16 you can say that in another way it can be create many meanings but simple way you can say the square of 2 is 4 the square of 3 is 9 and the square of 4 is 16 right so similarly 2 3 4 here definitely it should be 5 and the square of 5 will be 225 right so what you can do these are the difference so definitely this difference is added to each number to get the next number so you have got the difference 25 and let us add this to 2 to 7 and if we can get the option if you will not then we'll try something other so definitely you will get the answer here it, it will be 2 4 and 5 and here it will be 2 252 if you add this 25 to 2 to 7 it will be 252 that is option number b you can see here hope you understand if you didn't understand the concept or the logic you can comment in the comment box and also you can give any suggestion that you, if you have so this question number 10 will be your self practice for your self practice okay solve it and comment in the comment box let us see who can answer this question okay this the solution of this question number 10 will be provided in the next coming lecture lecture number that is uh, it will be i think eight right so in the lecture number eight we will discuss the solution for this question number 10 and if definitely if the video was helpful and useful please like it it tell us that how much efficient this video was and subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed it and definitely if if you need some improvement if you think some there should be some improvement in the way of teaching you can comment in the comment box we will be happy to read it